Woody Harrelson's IQ is insane. In today's video, we're going to be going over a game that was played between Woody Harrelson and Gary Kasparov. You probably weren't expecting to hear that. The game was played in 1999 in Prague, and how this game happened was that Gary Kasparov was organizing a chess event between Judith Polgar and Alexei Shirov. And Woody Harrelson was in the audience of this chess event and decided to get up on the stage and challenge the man himself, Kasparov, to a chess game. You know, as you do. And the game you're about to witness will genuinely shock you. So Woody opens up with the move e4, we see e5, and not the traditional knight f3. In fact, we see something quite unorthodox off the bat, and we see queen h5. So Woody Harrelson has officially played queen h5 against Gary Kasparov, one of the best chess players of all time. However, the move queen h5 probably gets a worse rep than it deserves, because a lot of the players with the black pieces here aren't really too prepared for this move queen h5 so Woody Harrelson may have just knocked Kasparov right off guard and now Gary Kasparov should I mention the ex number one player in the world plays the move knight c6 and the crazy openings don't stop here because here we see bishop c4 Woody Harrelson has not only played queen h5 on move two but has also gone for a scholar's mate against Gary Kasparov and you might be wondering okay this is just going to be a silly game no the game is very interesting and like I said you will actually be shocked so after the the move bishop c4 we see the move queen e7 by kasparov quite a flexible move as well and black will have uh, lots of different ways to develop and the most played move here is knight c3 trying to look at this square on d5 where we can hit the queen instead woody um opts for a different move and goes a knight f3 we see knight f6 and now black is developing with tempo as you see black has simply just got a piece into the game but white has to retreat now so black has gained time so for that reason we see the move queen h4. Kasparov goes d6, Woody copies, goes d3, we see h6, and Woody copies again, and goes h3. Bishop e6, and you can no longer copy anymore with a move like bishop e3. So here you're faced with a choice. You have to do something. You can either exchange here, or you can play another move, and Woody plays knight c3. So he's getting his pieces into the game, and Kasparov decided to double Woody's pawns here, and uh, takes. As you see, these pawns are doubled now. If Kasparov Kasparov can get into an end game, he can use these double pawns and exploit them for an advantage. But I mean, you're playing Kasparov, so you know the basic end game principles don't really apply to you. Um, anyway, after the move takes, we see the move knight d4. So already Woody's coming under attack. The problem is this pawn is being attacked, um, and this knight is being attacked, and you don't really want to retake with the pawn. Um, so you have to do something here. But if you take, it almost seems like you lose a pawn here. So it's it's a bit tricky for Woody here. However, he ends up finding the top move and he plays knight d4 anyway. And you might be wondering, doesn't this just lose a pawn or after takes? He luckily doesn't go knight d5 because here black can actually take here. And the problem is your queen is under attack, but you need to retake this knight. So you take back the queen, normal right? But now this knight, what was under attack and you're down a piece here, takes back. So you're just down a knight here. So there's a bit of a tricky line here with the move knight d5. You cannot play the move knight d5 here. Instead, you have to play the move knight e2, and you have to see a bit further into the future to play this move knight e2. The thing is, black can take this pawn. If he were to take this pawn, white can simply exchange, but remember, this d4 pawn is hanging. So this pawn on e4 is hanging, but this pawn on d4 is hanging as well. So Kasparov decides to defend it first, and he plays the move c5. We see f3 by the movie star Harrelson um, defending the pawn, and also this queen can slot back nicely wherever it wants along this diagonal and Kasparov keeps attacking because he plays the move d5 getting rid of these double pawns notice how these pawns are doubled as well so Kasparov uh, shows his knowledge of the game and he plays the move d5. We see Woody take this pawn, undoubling his pawns as well. Takes, and hasn't Kasparov just blundered a pawn here? Well, here comes the move knight d5, and can't you just take this knight? Well, your queen is hanging. So for that reason, Woody decides to exchange queens, and now his knight, what is under attack by this pawn on e4, simply takes back. And after bishop d2, Woody actually has a fairly pleasant position here. He's got his nice pawns, he's ready to castle. I mean, the position is 
is pretty much equal, but you know, would he sound all right out of the opening? We see Castle's long side, Castle's long side, and the move g6. Uh, Woody takes this opportunity to play the move knight f4, bringing his knight into the game. Notice this knight is a lot more potent on the f4 square than it was on the e2 square. Uh, Gary continues bishop g7, and here Woody plays a rather counterintuitive move. And maybe to you it's a fairly normal move, but to me, I'm never finding this move, because here Woody plays the move c4. And I'm presuming Woody knew what on percent was, because here the move um d c3 is played, and we see a bishop c3, so Woody has also exchanged more pieces. We see takes and takes. And now we're almost pretty much in an endgame. So let's look at the positions here. Here white has uh, two split pawns. Uh, black's pawns are pretty much all intact. They've only got two pawn islands, but white has three pawn islands. The one good thing white has going for him is that he's got this nice d5 square and he's got the nice control of the d file. So it balances it out and the position is pretty much equal here. And it is Kasparov's move here um, after bc3. And here we see the move b6. So just kind of solidifying this pawn chain a bit. We see the move c4, putting more control on the d5 square. We see uh, the move knight c6, king b2, rook h to e8. We see takes, takes, and knight d5. Both players continue with some fairly boring moves. We see h5, a4, king d7, king c3, king e6. So both players just getting their king into the game. We see f4, white getting a bit of space here. And now back hops him with the knight, knight d4. We see rook d1, knight e2 check, king c2, knight d4 check again. And after king c3 and knight e2, a Woody Harrelson had to catch a flight. So both players agreed to a draw. And at the start of the video, I may have said there was a little fact in this game that might shock you. And that was that Woody Harrelson may have received a tiny bit of help by two grandmasters. And uh, they probably started interfering about Queen H5. But anyway, apart from that, um, a very nice game by Woody Harrelson. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like these, like and subscribe. I think you also might enjoy some of these videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.